Hi, welcome to this video. What I'm going to show in this video is how to remove the front cover from this Akai 4000DS reel-to-reel tape machine. All you really need is a flat-headed screwdriver uh, and a small Allen key, such as this one here. And then, um, basically, I'll tip this machine machine on its back and we'll uh, start to disassemble it just so you can get in to do any maintenance you might want to do or replace any parts. So, with that said, I'll get started. So, we'll start with the easiest bits first. It's just a simple case of taking a Phillips screwdriver, a plastic one, will probably be better unless you uh, absolutely make sure that you're not going to slip and make any marks. Just basically take these small uh, Phillips screws out. There should be four. There's one there. There's one obviously missing there. We'll find another one in this corner. Another one here just inside the power switch here. Now all the ones on the uh, the cover now there are two more just below where the equaliser buttons are and just near the mic lining button so basically it's just a case of undoing these and uh, basically that's us done apart from one hidden one we just need the allen key to take all the other bits off such as the uh, forward and reverse levers basically the head cover so we'll take this last one out I'll get my allen key and we'll make a start on that let's see the small allen key and the head cover, just take the allen key out, just been very careful to do it, not to scratch anything below where any of this writing is underneath. And just take that out as far as we need to do. Eventually that will pop off and you'll have that one removed. We'll do exactly the same thing now on this record pause button, we'll just one, unwind this one back off, lift that off and out of the way. Just turn this unit round now as you can see on the top of these uh, two control arms it's just a Phillips screw in again just to loosen those off and simply lift off as shown on the top of the tape head cover there's two more Phillips to undo so I'll just remove those Take those ones out. Be very careful as we do all this. That should just lift off and out of the way. Next bit to do is just simply lift this cover off here. Gently unscrew this. Take it off. Keeping it all in one piece just so it can be. Uh, Here's the put back together and you're not losing a little washer on the top, that just lifts off and out of the way. There's your control dials to take off which will, if you were uh, gentle, just keep them in the right order. Just pull those off as well, put them somewhere safe. And exactly the same on the other side, that removes those two. Now with uh, everything removed as I've shown you so far, we should just be able to lift up this plate, this cover here. It should just start to come free as you can see. Now there's the black part of the front which we can lift off. And you'll see behind here before you uh, try and do any damage. There's actually one more Phillips screw to undo. So I'll take that one out there. That one's actually hidden behind this black cover with all the buttons uh, graphics on. So I'll take that one out of the way. And being very careful of course, I'll just lift off this cover. Take that out of the way, and as you can see there we're now free to uh, carry out any maintenance work we may need to do on the front of this Akai 4000 DS. So I hope this video has helped some people out looking to um, maintain their real to real player. If you do like what you see please subscribe, rate or leave a comment. I really do hope that this has helped some people out. Thanks for watching.